Hello and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Laura Fuino. I'm from upstate New York, although I have lived in Italy for about eight years in Rome. As you know, Italians, we pride ourselves on our food. Well, I pride myself on my meatballs. So pretty soon, you're going to see the way I prepare my meatballs and how they taste, but not prepared by me. It'll be prepared by my alter ego, Bruna. Buongiorno. I am Bruna. How are you? I come into this country one year ago, you know? I don't have a friend. But when I'm making my meatballs, I have a lot of friends. Every time I'm making my meatballs, everybody knocks on the door to borrow sugar, to buy any excuse to taste of my meatballs. And now you are going to see how I prepare my meatballs. It's a very big secret, let me tell you. It's very important the feeling you put in when you cook. Because you want to put the love in the food. Now, I don't measure everything perfect, perfect, but I go with the feeling of the food. As you see, I have my meats. I mix the turkey with the beef. Very lean meat, very lean. We don't want to get fat over here, huh? Okay, then we chop up the parsley. We chop up the onion. One a little bigger, one a little smaller. Because one we are going to use for our sauce. The other one we are going to use to put in the meatballs. And then we chop up our garlic. And what do we put in the sauce? And what do we put in the meatballs? Okay? And then we have a little bit of chopped up olives to go in the meatballs because it's a nice, nice to taste. Lots of times people don't want to use a garlic and the onion together. They say, do not use a garlic and onion together. But me, Bruna, I love a garlic and onion together. And everybody loves my meatballs. So then we're going to mix everything inside of this big bowl. Okay? We're going to put two eggs. Two eggs, we're going to put in there. We are going to put a little bit of salt, a little bit of salt, sprinkle on top. Okay, we are going to put our onion, the small chopped onion inside. Gives it nice a flavor, very nice a flavor. We are going to put the garlic chopped up inside the bigger bowl. Then we are going to put our chopped up olives, some chopped up olives in there, not too much, a little bit, and the bread crumbs, or you can grate some good bread, the parmesan cheese, now we put about mm, a half a cup, maybe a half a cup of uh, the bread crumbs, we put a little parmesan cheese, voila, and, et voila. We forgot the parsley. You should have reminded me about the parsley. Okay, here we go. Here's the parsley. And then we get our hands and we're going to mix it all up and make a nice big meatball. Okay, this is a good exercise, you know, because you have to have strong hands. And if it's a little cold, you've got to keep your hands warm, too. And what I do, I don't fry my meatballs. No, I boil my meatballs inside of the sauce. I make it a sauce, I put the meatballs in, and I boil them for about an hour and a half, I would say, until they're very well cooked. And you will see, they are delicious. My meatballs are very sexy. They are not these big, fat meatballs. They are nice, and trim meatballs for a nice romantic evening. You can make these and not to feel too full, you know, for what that comes afterwards. So this is a nice to make it your husband, your, your uh, man that you want to seduce, or your whole family. Everybody loves my meatballs. Okay, then you're going to spank it a little bit. Yeah, naughty, naughty meatballs. Big good meatballs, big good. Okay. We put the remainder of our garlic and we put the remainder of our onions inside to make it a sauce. That's why we don't waste, we don't like to waste food here. Okay. Mmm, the beautiful smell, beautiful smell. Let me put a little bit of salt in there. Okay. Then we get our tomatoes. You can use a fresh crushed tomatoes or you can use whatever you want. As long as it's tomato sauce and you mix with the onion, you brown the onion with the garlic. Not too much, you don't want to burn it, but I use your common sense, you know, you got to go by feel. Like I said, you got to put the amore, the love, in the cooking. Okay, now we're going to put in our tomato sauce. Ah! Oh. We're going to turn you. Oh, we want to put in a little bit more tomato sauce. 
because we need plenty of room to boil our meatballs. We're going to boil our meatballs. Okay. And then we're going to add a little bit of water. Stir it, stir it nice, nice, nice. Add your basil, basilico. Add your basil, some nice pieces of basil, and you stir your sauce. Now, while your sauce is a cooking, you come back at your meatballs. You're lonely. They were getting lonely without me. Okay, and we grab some pieces, and we roll them too big. I don't make them too big. And then we roll them not too tight. If they're too tight, they get uh, too hard. You want them to be soft, but not too soft. Hard, but not too hard. Okay. And then I plop them inside the sauce. There, nice and round, huh? You got the parsley. You see, everything's inside, all the ingredients. You put them inside your sauce. Okay, buono, allora. Okay, now we have finished, and now we have to wait for it to boil. E so, they are buonissimi. They are very good. You're going to see. They are like, once you try them, you can't stop. You have to go to Meatballs Anonymous. Okay, so now we are done. We have our plate, we have our spaghetti with our meatballs, with a little basil, a little parmesan cheese, and we are ready to eat. Manja. Buon appetito. Mmm. Smells wonderful. I hope you've enjoyed Bruna and the cooking show, and I hope you'll bring me on your show with Bruna to show everyone how to make these delicious meatballs. Buon appetito.